किसी ने कोई वायलेंस नहीं किया लेकिन दिल्ली पुलिस ने वो पीसफुल प्रोटेस्ट को नॉन पीसफुल करके फीमेल डॉक्टर्स को मेल कॉन्स्टेबल्स ने हैंडल किया है और बोला था हमारे साथ कुछ हो मत लेकिन इसमें इनका आरोप है कि इनके साथ मिसहैंडलिंग हुई है फोर्स का यूज हुआ है सबसे पहले मैं बताना चाहूंगी किसी तरह की कोई फोर्स का इस्तेमाल नहीं किया गया किसी प्रकार का कोई लाठी डंडा इस तरह का यूज नहीं हुआ इनफैक्ट दिल्ली पुलिस हैज हाईएस्ट रिगार्ड फॉर डॉक्टर्स पिछले एक साल में डॉक्टर्स और पुलिस ने कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर कोरोना जैसी भयंकर बीमारी का सामना किया है ऐसी इस माहौल में जब इस तरह से जंक्शन जाम है पब्लिक को इनकन्वीनियंस है ट्रैफिक आई टी ओ इज अ मेजर जंक्शन फॉर ट्रैफिक और इंस्पाइट ऑफ दैट पुलिस वालों से uh, बदसलूकी हुई और इनफैक्ट कुछ पुलिस वाले इंजर भी हुए पुलिस की गाड़ी भी तोड़ी गई और इन सबको देखते हुए कुछ एक डॉक्टर्स को प्रिवेंटिव तौर पर डिटेन किया गया इट इज दर्टीन डे ऑफ द प्रोटेस्ट एंड डॉक्टर्स आर अनविलिंग टू रिलेंट thousands of resident doctors have taken to the streets and withdrawn from all their services the center has requested the resident doctors to rejoin work amid rising covid cases why are the doctors protesting we explain so the resident doctors have now been protesting for around a month to expedite the neat pg counseling uh, the neat pg tests happen every year around january for the admissions of uh, those who have completed the mbbs course for their specialization such as medicine and surgery this year however the tests were postponed from january it was supposed to then happen in april but were further pushed to september when it took place but even then the admission process and the counseling did not start because of a clutch of cases that are pending in the supreme court uh, regarding the whole admission process so the uh, doctors uh, have been protesting uh, to actually expedite this supreme court case and get on with the admissions because there is a shortage of these pg uh, doctors also uh, referred to as junior residents in all the teaching hospitals across the country the Uh, counseling process has been suspended after the exams in the uh, in september because of a clutch of cases that were uh, put in in the supreme court regarding this newly uh, there there are a lot of cases but amongst them is uh, a case on these newly introduced uh, quota for the economically weaker sections and uh, the court has now uh, said that the government should uh, justify its uh, criteria of 8 lakh annual income as uh, as the uh, cut off for uh, availing this quota so uh, the government now needs to submit its report to the supreme court uh, which uh, the union health minister mansukh mandavia uh, yesterday after the meeting with resident doctors said they will do before the uh, january 6th hearing in supreme court uh, so once this case gets resolved and uh, the uh, quota is sorted out uh, that is when the government can start conducting the counseling and the admission process for the current uh, pg batch currently the protests are led not only by the pg students who are also uh, who also work in the hospitals as junior residents along with their training uh, they have also been joined by the senior residents who uh, are those who have completed their uh, pg studies but are uh, working in a teaching hospital to gain experience so the senior and the junior residents at any teaching hospital across the country are the backbone of the services that are provided in these tertiary care centers so uh, when they withdraw from work it's very hard to uh, hard for the fewer faculty members and consultants who teach them to conduct the services which is what is happening across a lot of hospitals uh, uh, in india right now the 
protests have hampered uh, all services across uh, big medical college uh, associated hospitals such as Sabdarjan, uh, Lady Harding, Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital, Loknayak Hospital, GTB Hospital. These are the hospitals where services have been affected for a month now. The doctors had initially withdrawn for, uh, from only the outpatient clinic services. Then uh, they escalated that to all routine services, such as taking care of patients in the ward, the planned surgeries, etc. And now they've also withdrawn from the emergency services. Other than that, uh, smaller hospitals, hospitals that are not associated with medical colleges uh, were running, but some of them have now started joining the protest uh, since uh, there was violence on Monday. Uh, but uh, the services are likely to continue to be affected because the resident doctors, even after a meeting with the health minister yesterday, have uh, refused to resume work. And anything that is happening in the hospitals is just done by very few senior doctors that are available.